Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Didn't I tell you that the Oral Roberts University is located in the city of Tulsa, which is in the state of Oklahoma? They have placed these praying hands at the entrance of the university. On this, they have written, educating the whole man, forming the students who come here into a complete human, forming them into a complete human in their spirit, soul and body. They have mentioned a scripture to substantiate this. The Lord wants to speak with you through the scripture today. Even that is written here. Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. This is what the word of God says. When Lord Jesus came as a man to this world, it is said in the scriptures that he developed into a complete man. Now what do we need for it? We need wisdom. We need stature, physical growth. We need a healthy body. We need wisdom and favor of God. That is very important. Today many people don't seek the favor of God. They seek wisdom, knowledge and a good education. Not only that, but they will also seek our development of the body they will want to eat well and be healthy. The favor of God is very important, regardless of what a man has if he doesn't have the favor of God. He cannot see a complete blessing. So the favor of God is important to us. Now the Lord shows favor to the humble. Behave humbly at all times. The Lord God will show favor and bless you. Not only that, we need the favor of men. Even Jesus, even though he was God who came as a man. He showed his love, humility and compassion to everyone. The favor of men. The people were very loving toward him. When he was growing up, we can see the love and protection they showed him. The favor of men is necessary to us. We see that the favor of the people around us is as important as the favor of God. In our lives, we must grow in the favor of men. Isn't it like that for you? Are the people around you scolding or insulting you? Are they frowning at you? Are they looking at you with jealousy? All that will be there. At the same time, aren't there people who show favor toward you? He will show love to you. They will affectionately inquire of you and your family. Aren't there good people also? If you have a good heart, good people will join with you and show favor toward you. They will be with you in your good and bad times. If your heart isn't right, no one will join with you. So ask him, Dear Lord, give me a good heart. And just as how you increased in the favor of God and men when you lived in this world, in the same way even my children and I should live like you. We want the favor of God and men. Lead us like so. The character of the people around you will change immediately. They will become people who truly love and help you. The Lord God will create such a change for you. Those who hate you today will become your friend tomorrow. Those who scold you today will become those who praise you tomorrow. So don't be afraid of these circumstances. Humble yourselves to receive the favor of the Lord. Dear Lord, just as you increased in the favor of God and men, just as you grew in wisdom and health, my family and I want that blessing in our lives. Our children need this blessing. Give me this blessing and guide me, Lord. In the name of Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. <music>